maybe six months ago, we published a paper uh, reported that uh, a very toxic aldehyde called alkaline play a very important pathological role in Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is the second leading neurodegenerative disease in older people behind Alzheimer's disease. And we discovered that this particular compound, which is demacoprol, can actually effectively remove this toxin, which lead to uh, reduced severity and delayed uh, onset of Parkinson's disease. Not only we alleviate we alleviate modal deficit, we also alleviate neuropathic pain associated with Parkinson's disease. Through the structure analysis, we found out this particular compound called dimacoprol can actually scavenge alkaline. Through systemic injection, it can actually get into the brain effectively to remove this toxic aldehyde because the pathological location of Parkinson's disease is mainly in the brain, in a region called basal ganglia. Striatum, uh, substantial nigra. So in this case, it's very important that this systemic application is feasible and effective to remove acrylene. This particular drug has already been FDA approved for treating heavy metal poisoning. It's been approved for several decades. So the general toxicity is very clear and it's very safe. It's still commercially, clinically available. This drug, if repurposed for Parkinson's disease treatment, we anticipate accelerate uh, progression of this drug uh, introduced to the clinic usage. This is a novel usage of this uh, World War II discovered compound, first time for the treatment of Parkinson's disease.